Hi guys, welcome to my channel Karibu Fine Art and I'm Priya, the artist behind KaribuFineArt.com Today we are going to learn how to paint a kookaburra bird Um, what I have done is I have used the same canvas, uh, it's part 4 of Birds of Australia acrylic painting tutorials we have. What I have used is I have used, I have painted this one with uh, green paint, acrylic paint. Uh, we have used Liquitex Basics acrylic paints as usual and the brushes and the paints we have used uh, and the reference picture is from pixabay.com. All of these details I am going to put in the description below and please check them out. Um, so that you can just do it yourself as well and the photo I have got from Pixar is absolutely copyright free so you can do it yourself as well you can try to paint um, the bird yourself so what I have done is I have applied this green color and on top of that I have put a stencil after it dries after the initial layer dried and I have used a spray paint Liquitex basic spray paint black one um, to put this particular pattern stenciled pattern and once that dried, I have put another layer of this green paint so as to take off some of the portions of the stencil pattern because I wanted this uh, uneven rough look. And then on top of that, I have uh, drawn my basic sketch and that's where we'll start today's uh, painting tutorial from. Uh, so guys, if you have liked this whole painting series, I'm going to come up with a lot of uh, interesting uh, tutorials and really step by step method and procedures of you know the painting pretty complicated objects together so you can see this one I'm still uh, in progress right now uh, I haven't finished it yet but uh, this is the painting which we are going to see in future and I'm going to divide this painting tutorial into so many sections that you can actually see step by step how can you do layering and how can you um, make such a multi uh, object painting multi layer painting um, with a very easy approach you just need a systematic step by step layering approach to do something like this and we are going to see many more such projects in future so please do subscribe to this channel so you get all the notifications and if you have enjoyed this video please like it and share it with all your friends and uh, to give me suggestions and to give me some feedback or ask any technical questions regarding these paintings or uh, where I get my specific supply or any any such details please put your comment below um, uh, in the YouTube uh, video under that you can see the comments and you can just put your comment there and I can reply to your comments um, so let's get back to the tutorial now so I have put down the basic sketch using a white carbon paper and a transfer paper and once that is done I am using white paint to block in all the portions and the shape uh, because I don't want to see the uh, pattern which is the stencil pattern which is in the background uh, through the kookaburra so I am trying to block in all the basic colors uh, the, co the color I am using right now is uh, raw sienna and white mixture of those two colors in between now I am going st with straight raw sienna and then in between I'm going with burnt sienna and burnt umber colors to just block in the portions and you can see as I put layers you can't see the background anymore and that's what I want to achieve more than focusing on the colors right now I'm using the Taclon uh, brushes Neef Taclon comb brush as well as the Neef flat brush and I'll put details to these brushes and where you can find them in the description below now right now I'm working on the eye area uh, the main features of this bird you can see is eyes and the beak portion it's very beautiful and unique um, so uh, with the eye uh, I'm just trying to block in the black portion and then on top of that I went through one of the red shades really thinned paint and red shades and I'm using these super thin brushes for fine details so triple zero Winsor and Newton brush which is I'm using right now you can see 
Yeah, I'm going through all the uh, little bit details now. So when I put my initial two to three layers, I don't uh, stress on the detailing as at all. Like I just focus on blocking in colors, darks and lights. And now you can see I'm trying to put the opaque white color. both sides of its, its feathers it has this turquoise really light nice blue shade of feathers and uh, that one is another really cool feature about this bird and uh, I think that uh, signifies that it is a male kokabura so just to block in that portion I'll be putting uh, white paint first uh, and then on top of that I'll apply that blue color because then otherwise if I try, try to put the blue color directly on the brown feathers it won't show through as I want it to show through. So that's the, those are the steps I'll take. The reference picture I have got for this one is from pixabay.com. You can download from that website and use it as a copyright free image and you can sell your paintings after that. You can reproduce, you can make prints and sell it. So you don't have any issues with the copyright once you download it from pixabay.com. So you can see I blocked in those um, white portions really well, trying to define it as well as I can and trying to put together some of the details on the kookaburra. And now I'm going through the that light blue paint on the top of, like on the side of the feather. Trying to define the reflection in the eye better and all, some of the details on the face by putting some white highlights. Whenever the... Um, uh, whenever you want to have that 3d effect layering is very important first thing then direction of the feathers is e extremely important another thing you have to focus more and like feathers still can be a little bit rough uh, and sketchy but when it comes to the beak portion the eyes it has to be very sharp like the uh, detailing on that those portions those areas have like I prefer it to be sharp so that you get that uh, realistic effect now you can see that I'm focusing more and more on the beak area and then I'm putting some of the reflection uh, by using a purple color on the chest portion of the kookaburra. We have come to an end of this today's tutorial. This was a very long four part uh, Birds of Australia series and I'm so um, happy that we have come to an end of it. And I hope this was pretty uh, straightforward and step-by-step -step easy tutorial for you and using really um, a good quality and pretty cheap uh, in price acrylic paints. Um, and if you have enjoyed this whole series, please comment, please put your feedback and please like and then subscribe as well. It's absolutely for free. You can share it with all your friends because from the next... Um, tutorial we are going to have much more interesting videos the next one is going to be a damn easy with watercolors even I have never tried watercolors so you guys can see that it's something absolutely new for me so please tune in next Thursday as well and it is going to be super fun and there are going to be more exciting stuff coming so I'm going to see you again on next Thursday see ya